हेलो एवरीवन वेलकमिंग यू ऑल बैक टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दिस इज अर्पिता त्रिपाठी एंड टुडे विल बी गोइंग थ्रू द टॉपिक अलॉइज फॉर डिस्कशन एंड नो मोर अबाउट इट इन डिटेल्स दिस वुड बी एन इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन ऑफ लर्निंग व्हिच कैन बी योर रेफरेंस पॉइंट्स एंड गेट्स क्लियर रिगार्डिंग द टॉपिक सो प्लीज कीप वॉचिंग इट एंड टू गेट टू नो अबाउट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स डू द नीडफुल before entering into the discussion let's see what we have already covered from this chapter we have discussed about metals its properties and examples non metals its properties and examples difference between metals and non metals uses of some common metals and non metals those who have not seen my previous videos can watch it to understand these all topics clearly Today I'll be discussing about alloys its definition reasons for making alloys and uses and some examples of alloys In my next video I'll be discussing about metalloids and noble gases So let's begin the discussion on our topic for today that is alloys Can anyone write the symbol for the following are these objects that is a gold chain copper coins or instruments made up of pure metals the answer for both the questions is no but we already know that pure metals have many useful properties but still are not widely used why is it so it's because they are often too soft for making substances and have a low resistance to corrosion then how can we make pure metals stronger and harder in order to make them appropriate to use them in our daily lives is it possible yes we can do it by mixing two or more pure metals together and it is known as an alloy it is a mixture of metal with another element and that element can be a metal or a non metal alloy is made by mixing the molten elements that is two metals or a metal and a non metal by mixing them in the right proportion and allowing them to solidify but what is the need of making alloys let's know it there are four main reasons for making alloys first is to improve the strength and hardness of metals second is to improve the appearance of the metal third is to improve the resistance of metals against corrosion and rusting because often they come in contact with the moisture and the fourth reason is to lower the melting point of the metals now let's see the structure of alloys here is the diagram of an alloy in this diagram you can see same sized blue particles they are the atoms of a pure metal and the different or the big sized particles are the atoms of the foreign particles and it may be a metal or non metal then how is it different from metals let's see it in the structure of metal we can see all the atoms are of same size and it's easy to rearrange the atoms if required in a pure metal but in alloys due to the diff presence of different sized particles it's more difficult to re rearrange them and hence the properties of alloys are usually different from its elements next is alloys and some examples of it first one is brass it is made up of 70% copper and 30% zinc 
and is used for making nuts bolts musical instruments etc second is steel it is made up of iron and carbon and is used for construction of purposes for making vehicles third one is stainless steel it is made up of 73% iron 18% chromium 8% nickel and 1% carbon it is used for making surgical instruments window grills utensils etc duraluminescent alloy made up of 95% aluminium 4% copper 0.5% manganese and 0.5% magnesium it is used in making aeroplane parts automobile parts last type of alloy is bronze it is made up of copper and tin and is used to make trophies coins statues next is alloys of gold pure gold is too soft and too expensive for most people and this is the reason why gold is bought as an alloy so i hope today's topic is well understood by all and for more clarification let's discuss few questions first question is is an alloy a mixture of two metals or it is a mixture of two or more elements one of which is a metal or is it a metal element or a compound of two non metals i hope you know the answer it's b an alloy is a mixture of two or more elements one of which is a metal second question which of these is an alloy wood aluminium plastic or bronze answer is bronze question number 3 do alloys have same properties as one of the original elements or it has or it is a mixture of properties of the original elements or they have completely different properties to the original elements the answer is c alloys have completely different properties to the original elements question number 4 the alloy brass is a mixture of which two metals copper and zinc copper and aluminium zinc and iron or oxygen and sulfur the answer is copper and zinc so that's all for today thank you and have a great day ahead